Our new design is all about power. We've dumped the water coolers and we've gone with two beer kegs. These are made of stainless steel, which means they're incredibly strong and can hold up to three and a half times the pressure of the previous version of the water-powered dragster. OK, so that's the techie bit. Coming out of the sexy shot of me and Leather's looking all cool. Great. Now let's test this bad boy. Once we're pressurised, I'll release the water from the first keg to propel me off the line, and then release the other one once I'm moving for extra thrust. We're building up the pressure. 80, 80 PSI. Or 110. 125. Clear. Go, let's go. Ready? Three, Come two, on, go. One. Fantastic! Oh, did you see that? Did you feel? You didn't feel? I felt that. I felt that in my chest, in my loins, as that second canister just released its load. Down the track I went. I've now established a benchmark. Let's put some tape down here. My rocket car travelled an amazing 27 metres and 83 centimetres. That's around 27 metres further than my last attempt. But my new distance record didn't look like standing for very long. You see, some Gadget Show viewers took our request for help very seriously and actually built water rocket cars of their own. Ladies and gentlemen, we have two challenges. The first is built by Sam, Gabriel, George and their teacher from Kingston Grammar School. The second is built by these boffins from, wait for it, the National Physical Laboratory. And both will be piloted by me. So first to go is the one built by the Kingston boys. <laughs> this gorgeous ultralight machine uses 80 plastic bottles pressurised to 80 pounds per square inch. Despite dumping all the water in one go, the narrowness of the jets meant I had a good 10 seconds of thrust. <laughs> oh, guys, is that all right? See, that's very interesting, you see. No drama, just a nice, even power <laughs> all that way. All this weight, and it kept on going. So how far did it keep on going for? 49 metres, 42 centimetres. Yeah! Come on! <laughs> well done! Next up, the beautiful machine built by the Brain Boxes from NPL. OK, guys, we're ready. Having released half the water to get off the line, I then had two further stages to add thrust each time I slowed down. The MPL team's machine stores the pressurised air and water in separate bottles. Air at the front, water at the back. This prevents leakage, which should increase thrust. Much more sedate than my machine, but remember, this was all about who went furthest. The National Physics Laboratory may well have done it, but it's going to be very close. Get that red tape down there. 51 metres, 42 centimetres! <laughs> Fantastic! The physics boys have it! <laughs>